Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone that doesn't ring on incoming calls after iOS 26 upgrade. So let's get started. So first thing is you're going to go pull down the control menu, or pull it up and put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off. And that does a quick network refresh. Now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go into your setting and then scroll all the way down to apps right here and then we're going to go look for the phone app settings. So we're going to scroll to the P section to phone. We're going to tap on phone. And then from here on, you're going to look for announce calls. So you're going to tap over here. Now you're going to want to go ahead and turn on always. Make sure it's not on headphones, car, or headphones only. Then go back here and see if it rings. Now, essentially, you can always go back, turn it off to never. Uh, and it should still ring, it just won't announce it, but you're going to switch between these. Basically by switching it on and off, it basically makes the setting in a way so if there's a bug, it's going to go ahead and fix it. So you can go back and set it to never as well. Now after you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is this method here. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like this. And you're going to wait until the screen goes completely black before you let go of that side button. So as you can see here, I'm holding down right now, waiting for the Apple logo to appear, and then I let go. This is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code. This will not delete any of your data. So all you're going to do is quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button until the screen goes completely black. App logo appears. Now, after that, the next thing you're going to do is go into your setting and then go to general software update and look to see if there's update out. Usually, iOS 26, because it's so new, there's still new updates that are coming out, especially to address bug fixes specifically for your device. If you see an update here, go ahead and update your phone. So, as you can see here, there's an update to fix certain things on certain models. As you can see, you have the network issues. So you're going to go ahead and update it. Make sure you're connected to Wi Fi so you can get the update. Now, the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues from the main setting here, you're going to go to General, scroll all the way down to Transfer Reset iPhone, click on Reset, and you're going to reset all the settings. When you reset all settings, data like your photos, videos, apps will not get deleted, just the settings themselves. But an important step to do if you're still having issues. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.